Hello everyone, Go Geek here, and so I'm back, um, once again. This was the supposed last checkpoint. Hey everyone, Go Geek here, Let's look at the big board and see all our pieces in the puzzle so far. So, this is where we left off, so this is where, like, the checkpoint was and everything like that. Alright. This is our board of what we supposedly put together. So close, yet so far away. We have to do three main things. Right. Um, what things? One, decipher Frank's logbook. Two, get Nathan's phone to find out where he's been during the Vortex Club parties with Kate and Rachel. And see whatever hidden shit he's got in his messages. Three, beat step douche Dan until he tells us about Frank, Nathan, and the dark room. And I do have a gun now. Keep it in your pants. We'll have to do this on our own. Dude, at least let me kick his ass, then rewind. <sighs> Fine, whatevs. It's your power. Which I can't waste on shit like that. Or Blackwell would be in big trouble. At least you let me take that money to pay Frank off. <sighs> Don't remind me. I just want him off your back. Our back. I know. You should get busy in the garage to see what dirt you can dig up. I'm gonna cyberstalk some names and see where that leads. Or to who. And be careful of Stepcrack. He's not gonna be a happy camper after you reamed him yesterday and Mom is giving him the boot. I'm on it, partner. I can't abuse this level of my rewind power. It's way too dangerous, and I need to navigate the present without messing up the past. Yep. All right, so um, I don't think I sound very sick, but if I'm not as loud as I normally am, it's because um, I had a cold, but now I feel a bit better, so um, still kind of stuffy, but I feel fine. So that's good. All right, let's look around. There's Chloe's cash stash. Sorry, Principal Wells. Yeah, we took the money. You had like two choices, and I just took the money because why not? I'm so sorry, William. It's not fair you had to die twice. Alright. Yeah, it's kind of sad. I much rather like the world with Chloe. Yeah, I lost in all this shit. I should have known just erasing that phone message wouldn't stop the police. This press officer very sensitive. Get to come by the station on Monday morning at 3 a.m. to ask his questions. Oh yeah, because they saw her car. This butterfly photo seems like a million years ago. How much time have I altered since? Girl, a lot. <laughs> Alright, wait, I wanted to look at some other stuff. That snow doe always makes me think of William and Chloe. Aw. Uh, well, isn't that like her animal? Sort of. Dude, we already looked at this, but... Amazing how innocent our drawings were compared to what we're doing now. Oh, yeah, this is the drawing that was outside the when Chloe was in her chair thing. Okay. That's my Chloe. Okay. I feel like we're missing a major clue. Keep digging, Chloe. This is a serious expose on the Prescotts. Finally. <clears throat> Let's see. The name Prescott may not mean much to you, or those outsizes, or of those outside edges. I'm sorry, I can't read that small. Okay. The name Prescott may not mean much to you, or those outside the edges of a small coastal Oregon town. But this name that means quite a bit in Arcadia Bay, a quaint town seemingly stuck in time. Once home to a Picasso's fishing and tourism industry, the town has seen much better paydays. Despite the local success of the prestigious Blackwell Academy and its football and swimming teams, the Bigfoots and the Otters, environmental changes to the area have reduced the amount of fishing and sea life, resulting in a stagnant 
economic and limited tourism. Oddly, the Prescotts have managed to keep their business interests quite profitable. In fact, they are behind an expensive, exclusive housing development known as Pan Estates to be built into a deep forest near Blackwell Academy. Local Native American groups have already filed various motions against the development, citing citing wilds, widespread destruction of tribal lands and natural resources. Continued on next page. Well, there is no next page, so. All right. So, okay, that didn't change. Cup. Staying up all night is the best excuse to drink lots of coffee. I love how they spelled lots of, like, in the... Even Holmes and Watson didn't use every piece of information. Cool. Okay, well, um... Ashtray? Yes, Chloe Price was here. Photo. I wish I could tell Chloe how much William cared about her. Wait, I wanna look at the picture. Oh yeah, let's look at our uh, different things here. Hmm. Okay, so we have all these people. Why is she starred? I'm not gonna read all this, by the way, sorry. Time chaos theory. I've only got a few pictures in those. And I only got two. Apparently there was a lot more. Yeah, definitely a lot more. Let's look at the messages. Like always. Private number. Oh yeah, isn't this like Nathan? Mm-hmm. Uh, Richard Marsh is another principal. Okay, so is this all the same? Yeah. So I'm just gonna look at the new ones. How do I like go back without like having to do this? Um. Oh, we still have Kate here. That's depressing. Oh gosh, Kate. That's not what I meant. I want you to be careful. Oh, that's depressing. We, we, we let her die. Who's Justin? Sorry for missing my pack. Hey Justin, you busy? Hey Max, just busy blazing. What up? Do you know Frank Bowers? Drug. That's it? That's Nathan. He knows, he knows him, I think. Okay, I'm on it. Thanks Justin. For what? Alright. Let's look at Richard. Coffee, thank you so much for your actions with my daughter, Kate. Oh, Marsh. Marsh was Kate's last name. Okay. Uh, grateful. Okay, so he's grateful for that. This is Richard Marsh. Again, I want to let you know that Kate's service is next week and our family would like to extend an invitation to you. I know you've been through a lot and we fully understand if you can't attend. Kate was our special angel and our friendship with her blessed us all. Thank you, Miss Marsh. I absolutely will attend the service. I know my words don't mean much, but I want you to know that Kate will always be my thoughts. Okay. So, yeah. We're apparently attending your funeral next week. Hopefully we don't forget about that and then don't attend. Happy to hear your, have your voice. I'm glad you were honest about the suspension, though we still worry. Remember that we talked ab about... You were here, you were there for your friend when she had nobody else, and Kate made her own choice. Nobody could expect more than what you did. You're a hero, and we love you so much. Maxine, where the heck are you going on with the weather up there? They're doing, are they doing military tests or something? You're right in the eye of the storm. No comment. I've kept Lisa alive through all of this, so we're safe. Who's Lisa? I think Lisa might be like her plan. As long as you're around. 
back to the books now, CO. Okay, anything different from her? Yeah, the plant you gave her. So this is like the same, I think. Juliet. <clears throat> okay, are you busy? No time to be busy. You never text me what's going down. Uh, besides everything, I was just curious if you've ever heard of a guy named Franks that lives in an Airbnb town. You mean the van by the river? I heard he is a sketchy meth head, but that's about it. Why? Are you doing an investigation without my help? No, just bored. Talk, talk soon, thanks. Okay, I can't keep secrets from Ace Reporter Julia Watson. Hello? We should text her back. Why do we never text people back? That is so rude. Okay, let's look at her dad's messages. Oh, everything's pop. It's intense. Hey, honey, I just got a weird text saying nosy daughter. Better stop watching others and look up for herself. Is this some kind of school prank? It's from a block number. Okay, wait. Let me just go all the way up. Okay, I heard they look seem pop here. Sorry we haven't gotten to sooner. I know you're upset, but your mom and I know that we did everything you could to save that girl. That said, we are very concerned about your suspension, and I prefer to talk in person. Thanks, Pop. It's been intense here. 